What's up, YouTube? Sun and Comic Geek coming to you with a huge unboxing video. Now, it's so amazing, so wonderful that you want to go ahead and smash that like button before you forget to do so because you're just going to be amazed by all the great stuff. You're just going to get tired of great stuff. That's what's going to happen. Uh, so seriously, it was a huge haul. I guess the mail person finally decided to catch up. And some of these, I checked the uh, tracking numbers on them this morning and it said still mysteriously somewhere else. And so sounds like the mail service is a lot like CGC. It's just a suggestion as to whether or not to use their tracking stuff or not. Having said that, we are going to get into some big stuff today. Now, some of the stuff I know who it come from and some of the stuff I don't because I don't know made up names as opposed to real names sometimes. But I do know where one of these is from. And that one is going to be the last. And it is a huge book. If you are a Turtles fan, you there's your hint. You're definitely going to want to stay around for that uh, part of the video. Um, so, first off, we've got Big Wheel. So, Big Wheel had these 40 for 40 boxes. I have dropped a couple of videos on them now. And so, he has, uh, uh, after getting the last few that I picked up from him personally, I asked him if he had any more left. He said he had one. I said, send it to him. Uh, because there's just been so much good stuff in these 40 for 40 boxes. I talked to him the other day, had him on the stream as a matter of fact, when I was doing my, I do when I was doing my CGC rant video. And uh, if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. What's going on, Warlord? How are you? But um, anyways, so uh, Big Wheels just had a lot of awesome stuff in these mystery boxes. So I decided to get the last one that he had. Uh, he was doing a small uh, sale, I think, with Barbarian Kung Fu. And uh, he had, uh, I had bought a couple of extra stuff. So he actually was nice enough to go ahead and open up the prepackaged box and then uh, send me, uh, put those in there too. So I didn't have to pay no extra shipping. So we're going to go into that first and then we got some other huge picks after that. So first off, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 592. That's a Joe Casada cover. Sure is. Sensational Spider-Man 18, number 17, Amazing Spider-Man 98, uh, so that's the annual for that year. What's going on, Felix? How are you? I think this is the first time that you've been on the chat, and uh, it is live. It is live. That is right. Got a bunch of good stuff in today. Saw that on the Comic Tom app or something. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 97 annual. This is a J. Scott Campbell cover, issue 94. And it is a new stand. And so uh, that's funny because I just bought that book. <laughs> I just bought it literally last night. Uh, Amazing Scarlet Spider number two. Another new stand. Peter Parker Spider-Man number 90. Batman Adventures, number 24. Look at that, Steven Spock. Look at that little reflective cover. That's right. Then we've got uh, number 23 of that same series. Savage Dragon, number one. This is from the uh, main series. These are This right here was something I picked up from his auction. This is Wolverine, number one. This is the second print. And Superboy, zero. Do you recognize that? That is the first cameo of King Shark, is it? That's going to be in the Suicide movie. So he only had it for like two bucks. So I decided to pick it up. Uh, Rune number one. Uh, that is a new stand. That's the reason I picked it up. It was a dollar. I already have a copy of this on the direct one. Web of Spider-Man 52. New stand. Warlord, is that one you need? I don't have your list in front of me. Amazing Spider-Man 440. A lot of ASM. Probably sell these all night. Uh, Four thirty-nine. Batman Adventures twenty-seven. Twenty-six and twenty-five. ASM four eleven. Four twelve. Four thirteen. 
Got another web of Spider-Man 92. 78. Amazing Spider-Man number two. That's where they renumbered that. And number three. And number four. That's a burn cover right there. Yep, it's on burn cover. Number 435. A lot of ASM in this one. Uh, 436. We have a Spider-Man 85. Harsh Life Spotlights. What's going on? Uh, Web of Spider-Man 87. Sensational Spider-Man 11. Now, the interesting thing about this, this was at one time in a poly bag, and it's not anymore, but it does still have the lenticular little card. Now, it's amazing with these lenticular cards. This book came out in 1996. That lenticulars actually did better than the Marvel uh, things. Uh, did that uh, were released a little while ago. Sensational Spider-Man 13 and number 12 of the same series. Amazing Spider-Man 424. Amazing Spider-Man minus one. 423. Web of Spider-Man 43. 42. 41, ASM 619, and Web of Spider-Man 75. So hopefully uh, uh, some of those were going into PC that were thrown in there. Um, some fun Spider-Man comics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, definitely Big Will dropping uh, the heat when it comes to uh, his mystery boxes. I was talking to him the other day about it, whether or not he was going to do another set of mystery boxes because he had uh, picked up a, a lot of books and he was yet undecided on how to do it. But uh, this last batch uh, was definitely a bit worth um, what it cost. So let's get into some of these other packages. So this comes to me all the way from Georgia. Yes, I had Georgia on my mind. As it uh, was coming here, I'm not sure what this is or who this comes from, and especially on some of these packages, you have to watch how you cut deep into there. Nick, the comic nerd, what's going on? You have to watch cutting into there because I hate to cut in the comics. That would really make me sad. Really sad. And on November the second. Okay, let's see. Huh. This person's from Dracula, Georgia. Like Dracula. 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 Count Dracula. Oh, weird way to package here. All right, let's see what we got. Like I said, sometimes these made up names, I don't recognize the. Real names. I think I see something in here, which is really awesome. But I don't. So let me. Boy, this packaging. Hmm. Some serious packaging on this stuff. There you go. A package inside of a package, people. Tear it open too excitedly because I don't want to damage something. But I'm looking at. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know who this is. All right. So I ordered this stuff off of IG and, the, and I'll show you what I thought it was in a minute. Ordered this stuff off of IG. And so that's. I had never ordered anything from this guy before. And so that is why I didn't recognize the name. 
on there. Live two times in one day. Yeah, sometimes it happens that way, Burke. Sometimes it happens that way. So I picked up TMNT number two. This is the first appearance of April O'Neil. And since it is the first appearance, could it be the first appearance of her on cover? Because for those of you who are TMNT fans of the Mirage series in particular, you'll know that the Mauser is usually on this cover, the first and second print. This is a third print, and this is April O'Neil's first appearance in comics. Uh, but this is a April O'Neil on cover. So picked up that number two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got uh, Team NT number six, the second printing. Um, I've already have a first printing of this. Decided to pick up the second printing. And this is what threw me off was because I saw this and I was like, what the hey? Uh, because I do not have a copy of this. I ordered the Jabroni uh, cop, uh, tribute copy off of 616 Comics. I have not got it yet. And so um, this is the ash can that came out. So um, I saw where the guy had it, uh, picked it up real quickly. And it is just as obnoxiously all along as what the regular cover is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the that is the ash can. Burke. And so, Burke, I got a huge, huge TMNT thing I'm saving for last. So, we'll see. If you hang around, you will be in the note, bro. What's going on, Mr. Prince? Subbed up to him yesterday. Oh. So oh, let's see what we got here. Take it back here, thing. All right. Okay, this is from Gardner Comics up in Washington State. I've ordered some stuff uh, from him before, and it was funny because I'd ordered some stuff, and he's like, "Okay, here's the shipping label. It's going out tomorrow." Why? Well, he posted some more stuff. I'm like, "Dude, have you got my um, uh, books sent out yet?" Okay, yeah, cool. It was a pretty limited deal. Uh, Burke was able to hook me up with a discount code, so shout out for that. Um, uh, no, I've got, um, so I only need issue 62 to complete my TMNT Mirage run to have one issue of each. Now, I do not have all of the prints because the Mirage run, you know, had several prints. Obviously, the most famous is the first uh, issue that has a first, second, and third, fourth, fifth print. I have a third and a fourth print. I do not have a first print, unfortunately, uh, on that. But um, so picked up Marvel. So he was able to open the box back up. Well, by the time that he got the box package back, the mail had run. He said, "Well, hey, the mail's not going to run." Um, and tomorrow, I said, yeah, "No big deal." Um, so then that night I said, dude, I didn't found two more. So he said, okay, what are they? And so he opened it back up again to mail it again. So shout out to him for being accommodating for a pesky customer. But Marvel premiere, Iron Fist number 17. Of course, Iron Fist number 15 is his first appearance. Uh, and I have that one at the presser now. So shout out to the comic, uh, underscore presser on IG. Uh, use Burke. Uh, 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 coupon code so that you can save on doing that. Uh, so pretty cool here. Uh, Roy Thomas is just the editor. He wrote the first appearance of Iron Fist and Larry Hama, uh, more known for his GI Joe work and Wolverine work uh, from back in the day was the writer on the artist on this, the artist on this. And so he's actually writing the new Iron Fist uh, series that is going to be coming out for Marvel. So that's going to be pretty cool. Picked up Star Wars Episode One. This is the Wizard Half Edition. And then this is the uh, foil version of that. Batman 354. Batman 297. 295. 
351. 333, 348—I forget the number on this one. This is 300 something, but this is the Whitman variant. Uh, DC uh, allowed Whitman to put the little Whitman W in the DC logo. Marvel didn't do that; he had blank boxes on theirs. So this is another Whitman variant of one of the 300s uh, issues. Then we've got to Batman 355. So some cool uh, Bronze Age Batman. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I had a few few uh, a few rants. It seemed like uh, last weekend was like rant weekend, you know. So every time I turned around, I was ranting about something. I said, "Oh no, I've been, I've been become that guy, you know, that rants about everything. He just is not happy with nothing in life." So this one right here comes from Indiana, and I'm not sure. I think I know who's who this is. I'll know when I see it in here, but uh, let's see if it is, and I can tell you. It's, it's funny because I just contacted him today because he did not uh, send me a uh, tracking number, which hmm. you put this on your car shield or you put this in your guard your car. Anyway. So let's see if this is it. I think it is because it looks like it's a slab. It's like you're packing meat or something. I'm hungry, not comment related, but still pretty important. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, so I know who this is. So this is from Tricky Trapster. We'll have to contact him after this video and let him know that I did get my stuff because he didn't send me a uh, deal on that. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So he was on somebody's channel uh, selling some mystery boxes. He was trying to clear out his collection, raising some money for something or whatever. And uh, he said, hey, I got some Bronze Age slabs. Uh, this is what they cost. And then I've got some uh, mystery boxes. And he kind of gave them like a – he kind of gave them like a uh, category – uh, so he said, this is Marvel ones. These are the DC ones. And then he had a Ghost Rider mystery box. And uh, so I got uh, one of the Marvel slabs. And then I also got the Ghost Rider um, mystery box. So this, and I wanted him to show me on the show. Go ahead, show me on the show. Because he went, he was kind of being kind of mysterious, you know, and uh, new to selling or whatever and people are like well dude i want to know kind of what i'm getting or what what can i hope to get and so i told him i said look if you want to sell some more just put what i just bought up i want to see it anyway and then you can say hey look that dude you know he's giving some heat out then um uh, he shops at grove obviously uh, <laughs> he's giving some heat out i want to buy one of your mystery boxes so he never wanted to do that so i had to wait he's like it's gonna be worth the wait i'm like dude I used to open my Christmas presents early, you know. I don't, I don't like to wait. Okay, so we got the little Ghost Rider a lot here. Uh, so let's see what we got. We got of the first series, we got Ghost Rider 31. Uh, 27. The original Ghost Rider rides again, number three and number four. These are the reprints from the 90s. Uh, one's a newsstand and one is not, but these are uh, reprints. What's going on, Jay Hood? Uh, lurking while working. There you go. Then we've got Ghost Rider the, uh, number one. This is a Clayton Crane cover, retailer edition. So far, that's about the pick of the litter in this uh, deal. So number 21 of the old Johnny Blaze series. Number 20, well, Number 26. Number 12 and number 23. And then this is Ghost Rider Highway to Hell. And I've seen this uh, seen this art on multiple things before. So it's obviously been reused. So I'm not sure what's what story that is. Uh, but that is the Ghost Rider uh, lot. And then We've got for the slab, he said he had a five and a 
uh, five, five. And I said, okay, well, I'll take the five, five. So this is amazing adventures. Number 13. This is, um, a John Romita cover. Steve Englehart uh, story, but this is an early furry beast. So not the first appearance of the furry beast, which I already have in raw, uh, I believe might be amazing adventures 12. So the second or third appearance of the furry beast, of course he would uh, later change color instead of being gray, be blue as we mostly know him today. And, um, so yeah, that was kind of cool. So, um, I still would have rather have seen it in person so, or seen it the night I bought it. Really. Um, so this one is the huge book of the lot. Uh, Jay Blitz, uh, put this up for sale. I was the only person, thankfully, that was willing to bid on it, uh, that night. Uh, it was kind of pricey. So maybe people in the mood for that size of a book. Maybe they already got it. Maybe they're not a Turtles fan because I did say that this is a Turtles book. Um, so as you know, with those early Mirage books, they're a little difficult at times to uh, ship. And he, <laughs> the first box I ever bought from Jay Blitz uh, came messed up in the mail, which he, he took care of it. But uh, I, especially when shipping a big book like this, he wants to make sure I don't want this thing down. Sure. Right here. Yeah, so definitely this is going to be worth the price of admission. Let me see this one. You got to handle this thing like with a brain surgeon accuracy. Hopefully everybody's doing great today. Went live a little bit earlier, talking about my picks of the week. Check out that video if you haven't. What's going on, MLV Comics? MLV is going to be dropping some uh, unboxings himself later on today. Um, you know, I'll probably recognize some of the comics on this. Cardboard. Jay Blitz, come on, man. You know better than this. Pull tabs, dude. Pull tabs. JB would not be pleased with you. But he, he's, uh, this is some kind of different kind of painter's tape. It's purple or whatever. And uh, it is fairly easy to pull off, but still. I do appreciate the 10 uh, people that are hanging out in the chat. And the man runs on Saturdays at my house, but most of the time the big stuff don't come to Mondays. I don't know how that works out. So check this out, folks. <laughs> Team and T number three. This is the first appearance of the Turtles van. This is not the error version. Uh, the error version, uh, this is like a little is wider than what it shows right there. And so uh, he'll be unboxing Adrian APM's mystery box here shortly. All the rest will be live tonight after work. Okay, there you go. Um, so if this wasn't enough heat to get a Turtles fan excited, I mean, this is a super clean copy. If I was so inclined to do so, um, I could get it pressed and sent in. Unfortunately, CBCS does not have things big enough for this. So this is a super clean copy. Here's the kicker right here. Check out those signatures, plural now. Now, Kevin Eastman's signature is no big deal. You know, he's still signing things today. But that other guy, Peter Laird, you don't see his signature very often. And, uh, you know, they had their little outs or whatever um, during the whole turtle thing. And so to get one of them signed, both of them signed, um, is certainly nice. You don't see that come up every single day. Uh, and they're signed on the inside of the cover, so that kind of tells you about how long it's been. Uh, because the signing on the outside of the cover is more of a recent phenomenon. You know, used to it was sacrilegious to sign on the outside because you were taking away from 
the comic art. So that's why you would sign on that first page there. So they sign on the inside cover. So that is really cool. So yes, a team and T number three, first print signed by the men. He, uh, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. So, um, that shout out to Jay Blitz for some good packaging. Uh, taking care of the book and like I said this is a really sharp copy even if I didn't send it to the presser um, I wish CBCS would hurry up and get um, a uh, get a um, bigger case uh, that would be nice and I go ahead and send it into them uh, the guy that had CBCS up did indicate on his interview with Bueller, which Bueller aired uh, the other night, that uh, they're working on it. Now, what kind of timeline that is, uh, uh, what kind of timeline that is, who knows, but uh, he did say that they were working on it. If you didn't catch that video from Bueller and uh, the head, Steve something, uh, if you didn't catch that, uh, check that out on Bueller's channel because CBCS did give a discount code, uh, Bueller10, I think, um, and get 10% off of just your submissions, not any other services, but your submissions during uh, the month of November. So if you use CBCS, that's definitely a good way to save you a little chain, uh, and you can be thankful for that. See what I did there? Let's see what I did? Um, yeah, yeah, that was a code, a few shekels. That was four hundred bucks. Um, they've been working on it for years. You know, I have to measure it, but see, I have a golden age Batman eight, uh, Bub, and uh, it fits in that CBCS case. So, how much wider is this as opposed to that golden age uh, Batman? I mean, it, it is admittedly a tight fit but it is in there. So I wonder if they, I wonder if it's wider or not. So you, you, you're supposed to be given hope. You're supposed to be given hope, Bob. You're not giving me hope. Hope. Uh, but yeah, it did, it did run me 400 bucks and uh, plus shipping to get it to me. Um, it's taller as well. Oh yeah. And you know, that's my one, uh, uh, that's my one gripe about the last Ronin book is the fact that it's so tall. I mean, it doesn't fit in with anything else. Why would you have to make it that tall just to be different, just to be difficult? I mean, what? Um, anyway, so let's talk about ways for you to win. That's right, for you to win. And if you're interested, it is a copy of New Mutants 98, uh, 9.4 CGC slab, first appearance of Deadpool, among others, as well as the company Deadpool Pop that has the on the back end. So, so we, um, so, um, so yeah, so here, here's all you have to do go and find you a comic or pop related. YouTube channel that you haven't already subscribed to. If you're not familiar, don't know where to start to look, look at the people that are in this chat. Um, you know, a little uh, channel like Bub's Comics, you know, it's only got a thousand subs, right? Um, a little channel like that, um, J Hood Creative, MLV, all these guys that are in the chat right now could be good opportunities for you to find that one channel that you're not currently subscribed to. So in order to enter to win, you go find that comic or pop related channel, subscribe to them and in the uh, description, not the description, but the uh, comments down below one of their videos, all you have to do is put the hashtag that SCG sent me uh, just like I just dropped in the chat right there. Um, put that in the uh, comments on one of their videos, any one of their videos, and then come back to any one of my videos and say, hey, I subscribe to the Immortal Biggie Shot as an example, or I subscribe to Night Tiger Comics as an example. Um, it's <laughs> 
Uh, hey, look, you know, I'm sure that if you were to win that New Mutants 98, you could find plenty of good places for it to go to because uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people that would appreciate it uh, or you could use it for dumpster fire. I, I don't care. You know, you win it, it's yours to do with what you want to do with it. Um, CG. <laughs> You know, maybe that is the new hashtag that I should have dropped, right? CGC screwed me. <laughs> um, not to plug my one video, but I've been a slacker. <laughs> yeah, so Flash by Night, there's there's you another channel that if you're not familiar with, I know Comic Burrito, they're constantly dropping uh, content over there and doing some live streams and whatnot. So, uh, so check them out. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I'm get, I'm get, I didn't win it. Um, I'm giving it away. I'm giving it away for my 600 subscriber uh, giveaway. So we are currently at 524 uh, subscribers, and so uh, 76 away from hitting the uh, 600. And if you haven't, uh, so see, there you go. There you go. So if you hadn't already, you can go ahead, sub them up. And then, like I said, be sure to drop that SCG, uh, send me a hashtag in their video and then come back to one of my videos and drop it there. Um, don't drop it in the chat because I'm, I'm not going back to the chats that because I do this every single video. So uh, be sure to go to the comments down below any one of my videos that I've already posted and put it there. That way I don't miss somebody. And I want I'm also thinking about putting another way for you to win. So in other words, there might be a second possible way for you to be able to get on the wheel. Uh, so be checking out my videos for that. But definitely a lot of books. Uh, grade A on Big Wheels, 40 for 40 mystery boxes. Uh, he hasn't decided as to whether or not he's going to be doing any more. Uh, so, uh, he's, uh, so definitely on that. Um, uh, so yeah, a lot of good pickups today. Uh, Tricky Trapsters mystery box, as well as, uh, the Team and T number three. That just kind of rolls off your tongue, doesn't it, right? Team and T number three. And, uh, so, Hey, I just got an extra one, man. I just, that's, that's my uh, giveaway now. So, um, anyhow, I do appreciate everybody that watches this live or on the rewind. In either case, we do appreciate you and hopefully everybody's staying safe out there. Uh, at the time that today is Monday, November the 2nd. So uh, depending on when you watch this, uh, tomorrow or November the 3rd is the day to vote. So be sure that you get out there and vote. Uh, this country needs uh, to say on certain paths and we don't need to get off on other paths. I don't get political on my show. Vote for whoever you think is best. It's certainly your God given rights. Uh, people like uh, my uh, great grandfather and others uh, bled and died for our rights to be able to um, to do just that. And uh, so get out there and vote uh, tomorrow. I do appreciate that. Uh, night. Tiger, do appreciate that. So that is all I got for right now. Who knows? I might go live later on. I know that I'm going to be on Barbarian Kung Fu's channel later tonight doing a um, an unboxing. Not unboxing. I'm hopefully going to be boxing up some comics to sell. Um, but I'm going to be selling on Barbarian's channel. Then I'm probably going to be on Mr. Unknown Comic Guy's channel uh, selling after that. So there's going to be a break for me getting off of Barb's channel. Uh, I got to go do something. I'm going to come back on another uh, Mr. Unknown Comics Guy's channel and I'll be selling some books there. So feel free to check that out and uh, vote Loki. <laughs> He'd be a perfect politician, right? Um, Perfect with the sleight of hands. Yeah, a little, little political. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be uh, voting. I don't think Mississippi even has early voting aside from absentee. So uh, but I'll be voting tomorrow. Yeah, try to stay away from that because I like to keep things cordial on the YouTubes. Uh, but anyhow, I do hope that everybody's staying safe out there. And until next time, none of the above. Yeah, you can vote for Mickey Mouse. You could vote for Mickey Mouse. Uh, but at the time, uh, <laughs> um
You know, I was so naive. Talking about that. See, this is how you distract me. Oh, look, a squirrel. When I was a kid, and uh, when she said, when she said, like a virgin, you know, I didn't think nothing about it back then. But now I'm like, there is no way Madonna's been a virgin in a month of Sundays. But um, I'm voting for Kanye. Kanye 2020. There you go. Well, so until next time, keep reading, keep collecting, and strike a pose.